So what is the function of uh, the third eye? So this is how I, I understand it. You are basically a spirit, right? This is your natural form, let's say. And uh, the spirit is more of an energy, it's like a thought form, right? So the way the spirit can communicate is through telepathy, through thinking, right? And this is really the natural way how we communicate. Once we are in the body, you know, as humans, for example, we use verbal language. But the natural way of communication is telepathy. So we send thoughts. All right, this is Mike Sigula from TrueFury.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So True Spirituality is my series where I talk about metaphysics, esoteric ideas and teachings, mysticism, shamanism, and all sorts of relevant and related topics. So if you like these types of subjects, welcome. If you are new here, please subscribe and have a look at previous episodes as well, because this is episode 60 already, so six zero. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna talk about the third eye, what is it? But before we can start, I need to make an announcement. Mm -hmm. As some of you might know, I'm working on an online course called Exit the Matrix. It's getting close, close, closer to the end. It's almost done, almost done. 95% of content made or something like that. So Exit the Matrix is my online course that basically helps people to transform their lives, find their purpose, their passion, help them to become the version that attracts what is good for them, open synchronicities, help us to find the right partner, all sorts of really cool topics. It's a comprehensive online course that focuses on many important areas in our lives. So if you are interested, you want to know more about it, go to truefeely.com forward slash academy and sign up for my mailing list. So we're going to let you know when this is going live or just check out the link below this video. All right, so let's talk about the topic. Okay, so what is the third eye? Hmm? Let's get into it. So I'm going to give you my explanation, my understanding of this concept, and then I'm going to actually share with you some examples of how I was able to use my third eye because I have quite a lot of experience. My third eye is open. So let's get into it. So the third eye is often associated with pineal gland. And pineal gland is this little gland in the middle of the brain that looks a little bit like pine cone. And it is often depicted as pine cone in art, for example, in Christianity or in other ancient cultures. In ancient Egypt, we have the eye of Horus, which is also said to show the symbolism of pineal gland and the third eye. In Hinduism, for example, the third eye is connected to the Anja chakra, the third eye chakra. So many, many belief systems, many cultures understood that there is something like the third eye. So the way I understand it is that the pineal gland is more like a physical representation of the third eye and perhaps this is where the connection is between the physical and non-physical, but it's not the actual third eye. Same like, you know, you have a heart chakra and then you have a heart, right? So you have a physical representation and you have energetic representation, right? So it's a little bit like that. So what is the function of uh, the third eye? So this is how I, I understand it. You are basically a spirit, right? This is your natural form, let's say. And uh, the spirit is more of an energy, it's like a thought form, right? So the way the spirit can communicate is through telepathy, through thinking, right? And this is really the natural way how we communicate. Once we are in the body, you know, as humans, for example, we use verbal language. But the natural way of communication is telepathy. So 
we send thoughts. And for example, I've had my out of body experience one time, it was like, I don't know how many years ago, it was more than 10 years ago. At that time, I was communicating telepathically with different uh, spirits. I was floating, you know, moving, hoovering, things like that. So that's, for example, one experience here that confirms that, right? If you think about it, why it actually makes sense to create this type of communication instead of language, for example, for the soul and spirit. Because if you have different life forms, animals, different alien races, different life forms, that also can occupy different levels of frequency, different channels like astral plane or different densities and things like that, it makes actually sense if there is a telepathic communication because you can be a completely different species and I can still communicate with you because we send thoughts, right? So when you communicate through the third eye, you might get visions, you might get downloads. Download is basically when you kind of know. So it's like telepathy, right? I get, let's say, a sentence downloaded from my third eye and I translate it to, into language, but I know the meaning, right? I can send visions, ideas, imagine something, send it to the other being, for example, right? So this is the function, more or less, that Third eye allows us to have communication between different life forms in the universe, basically. And no matter what species, if it's an animal or it is alien, whatever, we can still communicate because everything is consciousness, everything is conscious being, and there are no barriers when we communicate telepathically, right? So apparently everything really has chakras, even plants, and technically everything is consciousness, right? Everything has some level of consciousness. So for example, there, there is this uh, famous animal communicator from South Africa called Anna Breitenbach. There is a actually a very cool documentary about her life, and she proves that she can talk to animals telepathically. I really recommend to watch it because she actually proves that it is possible that animals can communicate telepathically as well, right? With humans, for example. Even though they make different sounds, we would not understand each other, they use different language for themselves, it is possible to send thoughts to animals, for example. Another thing is that apparently we produce indigenous DMT and some researchers think that pineal gland is actually where a lot of it is produced. So there is more and more research done on it. I've heard a very interesting theory recently that apparently your body produces certain levels of DMT. And now we know that when we get DMT, for example, into our system, the whole reality changes, right? We can uh, shift into different worlds, hyperspace, talk to different beings, all sorts of things like that, right? So there is a theory that your body basically keeps a level of DMT in some kind of uh, stable level. So you can tune in to this frequency, this level of reality, right? Once the DMT levels increase, you can tune into a different TV channels, different frequencies, right? So that's kind of interesting. That's why most of us see the same reality, let's say. It makes some sense that pineal gland produces some DMT levels and then we can kind of tap into different types of frequencies, right? Communicate with beings and things like that. All right, so let me quickly give you some examples of my third eye experiments, let's say. So one thing is that there is more and more research done that plants have really complex social lives. They communicate, they can share some resources between themselves. For example, acacia tree, when a giraffe comes and tries to eat acacia tree leaves, acacia tree will basically create some kind of toxins to repel giraffe. And on top of that, it can release some chemicals into the air so other acacia trees nearby gonna pick the chemicals 
and get warning that there is a giraffe so they start doing the same huh? interesting right it's almost like you know you think this is just the tree but the tree is literally like having all these defense mechanisms works with other trees and things like that right so when you do psychedelics for example in my case i've had a lot of these experiences where i would feel connection with trees for example i remember one time i hugged a tree something came to my mind to hug a tree when i was on psychedelics and i could feel a being there i could feel literally like an entity just was very calm it was like an animal or something but even calmer like very kind of static just standing things like that another time for example i remember 2017 i was doing also lsd somewhere in the mountains and with my cousin and one friend and i felt like the forest or gaia whatever it was was kind of guiding me i'm getting these ideas right they don't come from me it felt like they are coming from the forest and uh, suddenly i look on the floor and there is a magic mushroom on the floor and it's like i got this kind of download from the forest look can you see it i give you everything you need this is what i got right and the moment i looked down it was a magic mushroom <laughs> my cousin had very similar connection in that forest he, he said the same thing afterwards he said like he felt like the forest was kind of talking to him getting him these downloads and things like that this could be something like that this could be a communication of this nature but you know i've had a more profound experiences with communicating through the third eye so we talk about that the third eye sometimes needs to be activated and there are different meditation techniques that can help you to activate your third eye sometimes it's just like you close your eyes you focus on your attention in the middle of the forehead or in between your eyes these types of techniques this video i'm not gonna talk about the techniques um, but i just want to kind of give you some ideas about what it is how it works but i've been doing these types of things for years at some point it just activated the way it would work for me was that i could get visions sometimes i would meditate and I would just get these downloads, visions, things like that. Other times, the most interesting experiences were when I was doing plant medicine ceremonies. So I've had seven years of doing these. And there, it was all sorts of crazy things. Like I remember, for example, I would be shown the universe in a way, and I could see the perspective was through one eye so it was like very weird strange right not the same way as you see through both eyes but it would be like one vision and i'll just travel and get like be shown things there through through one eye so that was kind of interesting and then i had a lot of experiences with different types of ets yes um so for example one time i've had a session where for roughly three hours I was talking to this female entity telepathically right so she was giving me downloads and I could feel a lot of her characteristics right so the way it worked it was like I could feel she's older she was like human basically my thinking is that she's one of my spirit guides because she knew a lot of details about my life the way she was explaining things like that so she would Give me these downloads and show me things and we're communicating through the third eye for like three hours and i could feel that she was older she was very kind very gentle very loving when she was explaining things to me um, you know i could feel her energy i could feel that she was very kind very wise so i'd be like she shows me something i'm like oh wow thank you thank you you know it's like this kind of relationship like elderly grandma talking to to a grandson and the grandma is very wise and you know explains important things to the grandson this is the kind of thing i had so sometimes it would be images right she would kind of show me things through the images but i could feel her characteristics when we were communicating so literally like feeling the tone of voice i could feel the fact that she's old she's wise she has a good heart things like that because I could feel we were connected and I could feel all these things so she she would explain to me a bunch of things this is like a big topic 
some of these things are personal things about myself some of these things are about reality nature of reality things like that so for example the way i was approaching my ceremonies my sessions was that i would typically have a list of questions and a list of uh, intentions and things like that so there are more things but one of my intentions before the ceremony was something about you know if eating eggs is bad right this is the, the question i've had because i was like oscillating between vegan and vegetarian diet so i was thinking like is it a good or bad thing right so this was my question before the session a couple of days before right i didn't even think about it during the ceremony right and during the ceremony when we are communicating she randomly showed me a plant like it looked like like just some green plant then she would basically if you would take like a samurai sword and slash this plant in half in the middle and the plant the top of the plant fall down and it started bleeding with red blood right so she gave me this vision right she showed it to me explained to me said like plants are like you and me they are alive but you gotta eat something, right? This is what she communicated. So just have some balance when you kill plants or <laughs> things like that, right? Kill plants. But, you know, so this is an idea, like an example of a vision I received from her. And I had other encounters with different, different species, different types. Uh, some of them not nice, some of them pretty angry. <laughs> but this is a topic for other videos you know I would have to get more into details this knowledge how it works comes from a lot of these experiences so that's how I got to understand the role of the third eye how it can be used as a tool to communicate sometimes our higher self can also give us visions through the third eye all right so what do you think about these ideas my experiences as well. What is that you know about this topic? Have you ever had any similar experiences? Please let me know in the comments below this video. If the video resonates with you, please give it a like, share it with others as well, and uh, sign up for my mailing list, truefury.com forward slash academy. Exit the Matrix online course is going live soon. Also, if you want to help with your spiritual development, personal development, I do coaching one-on-one. -on -one. So go to truefury.com forward slash coaching. Have a look what's going on there. I do quick initial consultation free of charge if you need help with something. And follow me on Instagram. It's Mike Saigula on Instagram. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time.